Because I might get turned around. I'm, I'm very dumb. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little silly guy. That's the side you want. You can tell. Yes, I, I definitely can. Thank you, my love. Brie is very good. Yeah, this is like... We're doing like a semi-carbonara, right? Kind of, a mm, little. There's no egg in it. Oh. Oh. No, I get it. I get it. You're so funny. I do love it. I love egg. I know. All right. This but what if I make soft boiled egg? Let's go. Get yourself a bit. What if I make a soft boiled egg as well? That doesn't make sense. Or are you making pasta? A soft boiled egg with pasta makes sense. To me, it does. Put it over the pasta. <laughs> Split it open. I, 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 you yeah. made me. In the past, we've made soft boiled egg on top of pasta roni. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, that's a really tasty mix. They bring out the the best in each other. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Hello, dancers. Hello. We are hanging out and uh, making a semi carbonara kind of. It's. It's, instead of uh, pancetta, we're using prosciutto. Instead of egg pasta that is has hole in it, uh, we're doing spaghetti. But I think all in all, uh, it's going to be a very carbonara-like experience. With the cheese and kind of a creamy sauce or whatever. And then right now we're just eating some brie and some everything Ritz crackers, which we have never had before. They're really good, but I wish they had more everything. Yeah, basically, as a fan of Ritz crackers, Lexi is supremely impressed, but as a fan of everything bagel, or ever, everything seasoning, mm -hmm. everything but the bagel. I do enjoy it on the bagel as well. Close enough, yeah. But yes, how are you, dancers? Welcome on in. Do you want to open one of those? You know what? I might actually bring the beer up to the ice. Oh yeah. Here, put uh, put. It's still not cold, like, at all. We should put one of these in the fridge. Which one? All right, folks. We're popping open a flavor that Lexi and I have never seen uh, before. I don't. I don't know how we've not seen the Arizona with peach tea as well. We have to try this one on stream. <laughs> Hello, Chobble Cobbler, if that Chobble is uh, Cobble. how that is. Uh, Chobble, Chobble Cobbler, perhaps, That's with a single one. B. Welcome on in. Oh. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. We're doing all right. We're, go, you know, it's not too hot go. here anymore. It was really hot. It's going to be hot this weekend. I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it's next week that it's going to be hot. I thought it was this weekend. Let know. me look. It doesn't matter. I will check. I don't really know. Okay. Yeah, it's only 70 right now. We're chilling. It just smells like, okay, This so far this just smells like- No, it's the... next weekend. Oh, okay. Next weekend it's gonna be in the 90s. So we're good for this weekend? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be um, 70s. So it just smells sweet. like the iced tea that has a lemon flavor. It just, it smells like that, but with, with peach. Let's see if that's what it is. It's not good though. It's actually a pretty, like, calm flavor. It is so sweet. Holy it is? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> sweet as fuck. Woo! Wowie. It's good though, it is good. I like the flavor, but it is very sweet. It works for me, but it, it probably only about the same level that the lemon uh, iced tea works, which is not my favorite flavor. I do I still like really like it. I like a little bit more because it's not very sweet. The, the lemon? Yeah. It isn't? Oh wait, no, the lemon, no, not this one. Never mind. I'm thinking of a different lemon tea. Mm -hmm. Let me 
getting any here. Did I hear a cat or was that a bird outside? Oh god. No, not a. No, not, they're not, just they're chilling. Not that kind, just like a normal bird noise. It's funny though, cause like my cats haven't caught a bird in a really long time, which is good. But I'm very happy. They yeah. did chase a baby bird inside. Remember I told oh, you? Oh, they, they were like the baby bird is like old enough to kind of like hop around and like fly a little bit, and behind the fridge. So like the bear bird was fine, and we just kind of like put the cats in a room and then. It was a long process, but eventually I ended up having to pick it up and I just put it in a box and then we put it outside and then it, it like immediately, it was totally fine and it like went up to the nest and stuff, but. Green tea with ginseng and honey is top tier. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd say mm -hmm. either, either top or, or, or second off top. Um, but that might even be too, that might be even too harsh of a rating. Any of that and the black and white tea. Yeah, we, so we, we, we just, got more into the black and white tea in the last year or two. Um, oh, but it is so good. I think I like it more. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not as much a fan of the like straight fruit cocktails that they do with like, I love a sweet drink and sometimes I do want that watermelon Arizona, but it's pretty rare. It's not that common. Because mm -hmm. it's just so sweet and syrupy, you know? But this you gotta bad. eat cheese. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm on it, don't worry. I, my mission, should I choose to accept it, is to eat cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. It's a great time to eat cheese. Um, shall we start prepping? What are these? Oh, that's all right, I think. Yeah. Orange soda, and you really want one, but when you do it, hits hard. Oh my god, so fucking true. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. There yeah. are sometimes when I need orange soda, but I really like the um, orange honey toast. That's yeah. The best. Yeah. Do you like uh, like orange orange cream like the Stewarts? Yeah. I like I, orange cream I like, too. I like a sour orange more than I like a creamy orange. But, Welcome back, Romalio. But only in drinks. I love like orange cream flavor. Like that creamy orange flavor is really yummy. Hmm? I'm just trying to hide the chat because it comes up in the corner and distracts the hell out of me. Mm, 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 mm. <gasps> What's that? Baby, go to hide chat. Oh, that hurt. That, that hurt. Good. Chobble Cobbler, thanks for the follow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry, I was eating cheese. You know how it is, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, do you want to split one of these? One of the cookies? No. What? I'm already getting full. Maybe that's true, I guess that's just a crackers. full repeat of what we did yesterday of eating cheese and uh, oh. and, and eating little purulene cookies. Mm. Or chocolate hazelnut though, they're very tasty. Very tasty. Another follower of the road to 3k. Romalio, you are so true and so correct and so right. Mm, true. Yo, it's gonna be a while. That's okay. Doing the exact same. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I really needed a stretch, dang. I love a I love a, a cheese platter. When I was younger, there were less of the cheese flavors that I was interested mm. in. And uh, now at this point, I appreciate more of them. Most of you watch them. And travels far, that's true. <laughs> Everyone is saying hi to you. Oh, hi. Mom hugs to everyone. <laughs> they say thank you. <laughs> nice buy to go cheese from a farmer buddy. Ooh, that sounds so good. I love goat cheese and if it's fresh, oh, stop. That sounds so good. Do you do any seasonings at all on it? Like some herbs or like, mm, so yummy. <laughs> that is all camera bomb, huh? <laughs> Jay was reading the paper. Just if you wanted to know what's happening. It has honey in it. Oh my god. Stop. That one's so yummy. I love honey goat cheese. I really love honey goat cheese. Okay, I need to eat more cheese, but I also need to stop eating cheese. But my heart wants more cheese, so I'm gonna have a little bit more. Mmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad hasn't done the crossword yet. I just saw it on the table. Did y'all ever do crosswords? Because I used to have like little books of crosswords. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the biddies. That is so sweet. Mwah. Thank I you, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Eat the cheese. <laughs> the only time I read the paper is if I stop by my coffee shop early. Oh, but that sounds nice. You have coffee, paper time. That does sound really nice. You do them on occasion. I don't do them anymore, but I used to like get the little booklets. Did you ever do that, hun? Like on like road trips and stuff, I would get like the little crossword booklets and I would do crosswords. Or yeah. but until I would get car sick. I would. I, I... Or I would do like I Sudoku. Think, I think the ones that I would get, I would get were puzzle the, books. Yeah, I, love I was about to say, I would, I would get the ones that books. had a bunch of different ones. I didn't mm -hmm. tend to get ones in one specific mm -hmm. genre. I had one puzzle. that had, I had Sudoku. I had- I did like word searches though. And I, I did like- uh, That's why I like the puzzle books. Cause I wouldn't buy a whole thing of word searches, yeah. but they're fun. So like, it's fine to have that a couple. That was me with Sudoku where I was like, I can oh, I sit down and do it if I want. No, but yeah, Lexi's like, I Lexi's love legit at Sudoku. Sudoku. My I'm dad not. is really good. I'm like mediocre. <laughs> but you're really good at, I mean, I feel like you could whip all through like a lot of puzzle games. Uh, they're okay. Do you mean, do you mean physical or do you mean video game puzzle? I guess either, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't like video game puzzle games. Oh, okay, then um, not that. <laughs> but, but, but I feel like you get it, even if you don't like it. It's, I guess it's like, I, I, I guess I just don't really fundamentally enjoy Sudoku. Like I, I can sit down and do it. Same with cross, well, no, no, actually crosswords I enjoy more. But mm -hmm. I don't know, both of them kind of, I don't, I don't like either as much as I like, uh, competitive versions of those things mm. like you know uh auto chess game versus actual chess or um or not well no chess chess is an example where i i like normal chess just as much but like i'd much rather play literally 10 times out of 10 i would pick scrabble over uh doing a crossword and i don't really love scrabble that much I fucking love scrabble I'm just not that good at it. We should come up with a new brand new game. My, my brain does not like to think of other words. It's just like, no. Yeah. But sometimes I see words that are not, like like I'll have my letters and they'll just form into a word and I'm like, oh, that's a word. But then I can't place it anywhere and it makes me upset. <laughs> we can play collaborative Scrabble, which would be <laughs> where we're just trying to put more down. You know what I mean? Like you We just, could try to get to a, like a goal. Yeah, exactly. Score. Like it's just we have one score together as opposed to That's kind of fun. A competitive thing. I like that. That would be fun. <laughs> kind of hard to keep track and, and I, I don't no, I don't know what track. the gameplay incentive is basically, but maybe it's to get to a certain goal as soon as possible or with as little tiles as possible. Uh, li little tiles is, is, or is, is too regulatory. It would be it would be more of a uh, it would be either what what are the in Scrabble it's typically timed. Well, no, I don't know. Is it typically timed? No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. I think it's just until we run out because at a certain point you just can't put any yeah. words anywhere, and it would just be about trying to record what that score is. Mm -hmm. Could work. Scrabble's fun as a time score. killer, but thankfully not a long game. Mm. Uh, yeah, now when you're not playing with me, it ain't I was like, people, in. no, it's very long. I beat over the highest score you can get, yeah, basically. I beat a dude who is about 10 years older than me in Scrabble, who was my English teacher at the time. Yeah, that um, was fun. I watched that game. He was not a, a credit, he was not like a certificated teacher, but like he was like the guy who did teach. We went to a jank high school in some capacities. And that was one of them that uh, he was just a dude. He's probably as old as I am right now, to be completely well, honest. I think he was about my age ish. Okay, like, yes, he was just a dude, but I think he was doing his, like. He was super smart. And he, he was, was doing he his. He was in like, training. He was trying but to. But he was a not teacher. certificated. No, he but he not. was doing his, like, required Certified, hours. I say. So it's like, yes. he was, like, allowed to be there. Yes, it's he, not like. He was, he was supposed to be a person who was, like, learning from the teacher oh yeah no, they he, just let him he was yeah, our teacher he, he so like it, that, that's, that's what i'm saying true. the jank that's aspect true. of that's our true. high school that's, 
Um, but yeah, it, granted it was my birthday, but I, I don't think any English teacher would, would willingly Why toss is there no music? There is. It's quiet. Oh, it's just so quiet. Clean house of trivia based game. <laughs> Oh, trivia games are fun. Some trivia. Yeah, I I tend to accumulate bullshit I know niche facts knowledge. and shit. So like, so we, you, you know a lot. You know a lot. So not like, about everything though. That's true. If, if, like, if we're talking things. like uh, uh, anything like science or cooking or math, it's not as maybe I'll pick up something every once in a while, especially in math. But then I would do cooking. If we were but a like, team, I feel like we'd be a pretty good team. Even sports I don't give a half of a shit about. I I, I know, know the about. trivia points. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and then like, movies, t- TV shows, television, that's the same thing. Music. Those, a lot of the time, even if I haven't heard a song or even if I haven't seen a movie, I know enough about it to, like, get those kind of questions. You know what I mean? Yes. I haven't seen One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest, but I know that it's the third and, uh, is it the third or the second? No, it's the second film, uh, second and most recent film, second most recent, to uh, get all five main Oscars. Uh, best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenwriter, Best Actor, Best Actress. Uh, the other, you need to help me. I've only seen one of those three. The first one is It Happened One Night, which is 1934. Oh, really? The second one is One Flew the Cuckoo's Nest, 75. And the third one is Silence of the Lambs, which is 1992. Uh, have you seen Silence of the Lambs? No, I have not. What? I've only seen it. Uh, Silent. Silent, which is really funny. But. Ramalia said board game collecting is an expensive hobby. Trust me, trust me. Not if you have low standards in a thrift store nearby. Because uh, Lexi and I purchased some, some silly ass board games, some of them better than others, is what I'll say. We got Titanic, the board game. I know you don't have low standards. I'm saying if you lowered your standards, the hobby would become less expensive. Just get some dog shit board games, man. Be amazing. Okay, I just, just kidding, I did it. Wait, can I carry this over? I am become snob. Oh my god. I figured out how to do it. Fantastic. Okay, so we got a bunch of cheese. Awesome. I apparently burned myself while ago. I have like a burn spell here now. When? I don't know. It was a while ago. It doesn't hurt or anything. Mm. But I have a burn spur here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe a little bit. It's a lot darker in real life. Well, I'm gonna. I mean, I might as well start the pasta, right? Man, I love well, cheese. Well, it's only six thirty-seven. Maybe I should. I don't know. What should I do? I love cheese too. I have a lot of cheese. I eat too much cheese. I think, my, cheese? I think my stomach is like, you know you're allergic to this? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but it's cheese. It's slightly better. And my stomach's like, yeah, but it's still going to hurt a little bit. <laughs> so I'm dealing with that. Now I'm like, mm. oh, should I put beer in that? I don't know. Do the cultures of cheese as compared to milk make it easier or harder to process? Because I would think easier, easier yeah. because of the way oh, it like, If I helps. take one sip of milk... I am down for the day. Like, it's over for me. I'm done. Um, I can eat cheese and be mostly okay. I probably should take lactate. I just didn't. I can probably take it now. If you want to. But if I take it now, I feel like I don't know how it mixes with the beer. Like, whatever. It really <laughs> mixes like with the beer? That's an advanced taste profile you're cultivating. No, that's what I mean. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Be like, okay, yay, this is cold now. <gasps> yay, you can see it's cold. <laughs> see, it wasn't in there that long. And yeah, and it's not a toilet. You, you know, you know, beer better than me. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly admit that. I'm not a beer man. No, but you can put anything goat milk digests easier. Like... Oh, I believe that. Oh, goat cheese? I don't have to take anything. I can just eat goat cheese straight up. Well, is it lactate or not? No, is it lactase in there or no? Or lactose, rather. Lactase yeah, is the stuff Lactase that, is, is what I eat. Yeah, to all the way around. Help. Yeah, so I guess I guess uh, maybe it just doesn't have lactose, or maybe it's just a different kind of something. Do I have lime? Oh, you have a lemon? I don't want lemon. Why not? No, I would only want lime in it. It's basically the same thing. No. No, you need that bitter of the lime. Yeah, I hate, I can't do milk. I'm super lactose intolerant. You're a cook too? Ah, you have so many burns. 
Oh no. Lexi is I'm sorry that uh, you have so many burns though. Entirely amateur home cook, but I, I literally don't know anyone who I would rather make food for me. In That's the world. so sweet. I try really Except hard. Except Bobby Flay. No, I'm kidding. Oh, that would be cool though. I bet you. If, if I was sorry. if I was the judge, you'd be Bobby Flay. I don't think. Oh but, well, yeah, that's different. Well, if the judge didn't know about any, if no, if Bobby doesn't know about any of your things, <laughs> your arbitrary. And I'm things, the one judge. This is okay. I, this is. This it'd is, be so funny. You're gonna talk about your idea because I think you should. So, oh well, I guess I I can do that, but like, it, it, yeah, it kind of dovetails off this. Um, there was like. In that like 2014 to 2018 Tumblr pocket, there were a lot of like really stupid posts along the line of like, they should make a TV show where this happens. And it's like embarrassing and cringe. And it's like, there's no way that this would ever be functional. The one of the ones that I really fucked with as an idea that I saw on Tumblr was, oh, sorry, oh, sorry baby. Like um, someone was like, what if, what if there were judges on a cooking competition show who knew nothing about food and they they had weird specific tastes and so someone makes this incredible amazing dish and the person's just like i don't like pickles so i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with the other one and that idea has always rung very true to me i think it would be really funny um and i i, I think in general the idea of of doing content of like really picky eaters on cooking shows i think that would be fantastic when I was younger, I really wanted to do a show where I just go around to people's restaurants and get a burger uh, oh. with just cheese and ketchup and meat, which is how I get my burgers. Is this actually going to be sweet? It has sugar in it. I'm going to... Maybe we don't do peas. You know what? We're, I'm going to try Oh, well, well I'll rinse wait, wait. them. Wait, I have a better idea. What if we just make the peas separately? Have a bowl of peas on the side. I feel is confident. If it, with my flavor, I'll taste. I will taste. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Taste it up. Taste it up. I won't just do it blindly. I promise. Well, here's the thing. I don't say customers like that because it, it it it's not really my choice. And I I you know I do I do try uh, foods that I don't like pretty constantly. Um, That's true. But yeah. if. If if people don't like it, it's you know it, it it's not a personal failing. It's it's a uh, a lot of the time it's it's literally just it's a, my mouth disagrees it's a with, thing, yeah. with like I would love to eat onions and garlic and shit, Ooh. but I just I can't stand the cellular texture at all. So. Oh, I hate these honestly. These do not look good. What's the taste? Is it a pea? Yeah, I just don't like pea. No, you don't have to apologize. It's not. It's not pitiable. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying is that like, it. Some people just don't like certain foods. You know. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm one of those people who will. Uh. I'm. I'm not gonna eat uh, pineapple on pizza, but I'm also never gonna be like. Dumb. I'm. I am though. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I'm, I'm yeah. the one like, where so he, he's like, I don't like this, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> and, and, and basically just that, like, I, I. I try to because I don't like so many foods. Try to kind of keep it. I don't to know a point is... where I'm never talking shit on other people's taste because yeah. I don't eat all the things that uh, other people eat. Yeah, that's true. I'm just gonna get all this disgusting water out. Pickles are anything cucumber. Dang, that's I, I wish I wish you could have it, Ramalia, because the cucumber, tasty. It's good shit. Cucumber is really tasty. To me, to me at least. Yeah. I love I love a cucumber person. It'd be funny if I said all that and I'm like, you don't like cucumbers? You're a fucking freak, Romalio. Damn. <laughs> Just roast the shit out of them. That would be very rude. I'm trying to wash the peas. Uh, we said this last time about the, the uh, Topo Chico hard seltzers, but these are fun in terms of the like seltzer base. I think it's like the best seltzer base of any, but I just don't like the flavoring as much as I like I it. I think I'm gonna leave them soaking in water to hopefully draw out the sweet. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Because mm -hmm. they were soaking in sugar water. So why? Because to make them taste better, because they're kind of like gross looking. Peas are tasty. No, but look at these peas. These are nasty. 
Oh lord! Yes. <laughs> Do we have to eat them? No. Let's see how they go. Yeah, you're not. You don't want those. I'm not convinced that this is gonna taste good I'm or add in, to the meal. I'm not into those. Oh, almost. You know, you take a sip of the drink, but you get the, you get the tab end. I'm gonna eat more of this cheese. Yeah, these these uh, the everything the everything Ritz are good. They're they're tasty. It's it. I guess it's like one of the better Ritz. I kind of like the basic Ritz, honestly, the most. I don't know about this one, though. We don't got all the peas. This is this. We're making a shitload of kale, then. Yeah, we don't need peas. Mm -hmm. This is just, this is grody. I don't get the sweet pea. I thing. feel really bad throwing away food, though. I got these for free. I know, but regardless, it is food that is edible. That is true. I, I, I see where you're coming from, but. In this case, I think it's okay to toss out a thing of peas that we don't want. Basic red over in perfect cracker. I th that's kind of a little bit how I feel. Where I, I really do like the the crispy what can peas go into? saltiness of a tasty little Ritz cracker. Like it's just, it's just such a solid flavor. You mix it with cheese. So it I slams. feel like you would make a good mush to like put into something. Not like I was, I was drinking something at the moment when you said that. Um, but to put it in what? Well, like if it was all blended. Do you like pea soup? I, baby, this is- I a, don't like pea soup. You, what, do I you suggest pea soup, my babe? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm You're trying I'm, to pawn off these peas on to me. No, I, no, I just, you, you like peas more than I do. I don't think I like these, I don't these know These are if really I like bad. Peas. Can blend the peas, make a bisque. Can I blunt? Will I? <laughs> That's true. Le Lexi is being resourceful, but I, I just don't. I'm trying. I'm, um, I, I just doubt that there's a. Well, because uh, I could use, blend use them and then I could use it as a base in something, like in a soup, so it's not like the full. But the flavor is really weird because it's sweet. If you don't like the flavor, let's just dump them. They taste like tin and like tinny, like. Oh aluminum, great! Oh and yikes. they're sweet. It's like those. It's like that. I, you didn't even see any of the. Like, I feel like there's got to be a way to make them taste better, but. This is it's 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 not. I'm gonna not throw them away yet. Them. I'm not yeah, throwing them away yet. I'll One of the cheapest produce, produce, no stress. Thank you that's for true. citing that. I do appreciate that. I I, I did not. I still uh, know that, but that that tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still having a moment. I'm gonna drink my beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my thing that I can't eat is ginger. Or cranberries. But I think with ginger, it's an actual with, allergic reaction. Yeah, I can have- Whereas with like maraschino yeah. cherries and cranberry- Well, cranberry, you get a little sick. Maraschino it. cherries, I just don't like. Yeah, yeah, maraschino that cherries, that's what I was gonna say. Like, that's one that, that you doesn't just make don't me like. sick, I just am not a fan. So like, I'm not, I'm not gonna want that. Mm -hmm. But with cranberry, it's made me sick every time I've had a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of it, but just like an amount of it. So then it's when I've had, when I have like a sip, with, of something with cranberry, that's fine. Like I can try something, but I can't like drink a whole drink with cranberry. Like I can't have like a vodka cran or anything. And then with ginger too, like I can have something that has a little bit of ginger, but if it has like ginger as a flavor, I'll know that if I have more than one little sip of it, I will be super sick. Yeah, I will like, not feel good. Like for, for example, <laughs> if it were listed but right here. But it has here. to be real ginger. Yeah, yeah. Fake ginger flavor is fine usually. Like ginger snaps, if it's like a shitty ginger snap. If it be fine. was, if it was a listed up here, it's likely not going to be for Lexi. But if it is like on the down bottom, here, it will like, probably be fine. Because a lot of Asian food has ginger in it, and I just love Asian food. So the uni girlies. I just kind of. We are uni girlies. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in it. Oh God, true. Yeah, I'm just like. I don't know. Yeah. I, I hope that one day I can just eat whatever I want. Cause I really want to eat kimchi. That's the oh. thing is I need to make my own kimchi because I think I'd love it, but I just can't do the ginger. There's a lot of ginger in kimchi. You can, you can eat my grandma's or not my grandma's, but the, um, the one, uh, Swedish ginger snap cookie, the Pippa Kaka. 
I, I think they... uh, I can't eat uh, like one. <laughs> but, it, it, but it makes it's like more spicy, right? It definitely has like real ginger in it. I can tell. Yeah, it's it's good, but I really can't eat more than one. Kimchi slaps. See, that's the. I, I know, and I know, I know all the flavors that go into it. I've watched it be made. Like I know a lot about it, and so I'm like, I know I would love it. Like I know I would fucking adore it. Oh, if we could find a place that I know that did not have not ginger, didn't put ginger in there, it would be amazing. I just don't think that they... No, I know, it's tough. That's I, the thing is, I think I have to make my own. Which, honestly, I'm willing. It's kind the, of a process, but like, let's do it. It, well, it has, it's spicy. I don't know How if... It's spicy. You, and it's cabbage. And it's fermented. Oh, I'm not a fan I don't of think cabbage. you're gonna yeah, be... Yeah. yeah, I don't think this is a jam food. Well, if you were to make that, and maybe I make something a little more simple or something. Oh, well, I'm not just going to eat kimchi. I mean, it's like, it's like, you it takes a while, but it's not hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. It's like, but it's like, it's like, I have to do it. Like it's mm -hmm. a whole, I have to like plan for it and do it, which I am honestly willing to do. So okay. I might, honestly, if y'all are down, I could do it on a cooking stream. And then, the oh, that's what week, I was suggesting. Eat it. I was literally suggesting yeah. that we should, we should do it on, on a stream. But we I have to, great we idea. Can, yeah, we just like pack it on the cooking stream and then. I was I'll just, have it. I was just thinking I'm not gonna make around. a lot. I'll probably just do one little yeah. head of cabbage, like one little. Was it Lino guy. who just made a fucking beef Wellington like a week ago? Randomly? Oh, I don't think who, he made it recently, that? but that was Lino. Yes, it wasn't the, recent. But the, the idea that was, a that, that was a really funny idea, and they just like a freaking cave off group dude just being like, "I'm gonna go pop over and make a beef no, Wellington." No, he literally he made it. He said he made it because Felix wanted it. Oh, that's so sweet. And then it's in one of his vlogs, and and Felix is there trying it, and he's all excited about it. It's very cute. Love it. <laughs> but yeah, I do want to make kimchi. I think it'd be fun. Um, but people are like, it's not kimchi unless it has ginger in it. I'm like, okay, well, what if I can't eat ginger, okay, and I want to eat kimchi? Like, what do I fucking do? <laughs> uh, Napa cabbage? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I want to do everything right, because I want it to taste... Exactly like, like it, but without yeah, the ginger. Yeah, but without the ginger. Yeah, like, yeah. I want the exact experience. <laughs> They're haters. I know. <laughs> exactly. I was like, come on. Like, it's not that I just don't like it. Like, I would just be like, oh, whatever. I'll just tough it through to try it. But it's like, I will not feel good. It will not make me yeah. happy. And I don't want to get the ick for it, too. Mm -hmm. So I really want to try it when it's, like, tailored to me. Which yeah. means just, it's the only thing I can't have is ginger. So it's just, like, just take that out, and it's perfect. And everything else is good. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be, it's, oh, it's it, going to be, It's, oh, it's well, better that that's okay. the case. I'm yeah. glad that it's just I do want to make it, though. that you have to remove. Yeah. Um, unless they make it with fucking cilantro. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the soap gene also for cilantro, which is fun. So. Which we learned a couple years ago. It basically tastes the same. Hell there's a chance yeah. that the cilantro bean could just go away one day because we talked to someone who, I think, at some point in her 50s, just one day woke up and could eat cilantro and it tasted like cilantro. So and we're it didn't holding taste like soap. Hope. And I was like, we're holding out hope that Lexi will one day. I keep trying it, being like, it's the day. the day. I know. I'm so sad. My grandma does, and it skipped my mom, and it came to me, and I was like. And the worst part is I'm Mexican. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, aha. So I have to just be like, please, I'm so sorry. I'm a bad Mexican. Yeah. Like, oh, I can have spicy food. I just can't do cilantro. And the thing with cilantro is that that's one that you can, you've had it stuck into dishes in a way that it doesn't well, because I'm, show up because it can But like, I get back. what it, I get what it tastes like. So like, I'm kind of just used to it. It tastes like. Like it doesn't taste fully like I'm eating a bar of soap, but what it tastes like is like, like a like a grassy soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it tastes a, like you took some grass and you put soap bar on it or something, right? It's kind of like you washed a blade of grass and then chopped it up and put it <laughs> on, and there's some of the soap still on the grass. Like that's kind of you what it tastes rinse like. It. You just washed it. You just put the soap on and you put. Yeah, it on. I know it's crucial in ceviche, and I I actually still eat ceviche even though it does taste a little bit like soap. Like I just kind of know that that's a flavor in there that isn't supposed to taste like that. So I look past it, mm -hmm. you know, if that makes sense. Has an earthy flavor. Oh. Are you kidding me? It tastes, I fucking love wasabi. <laughs> Wait, cilantro tastes like wasabi? I don't know. An earthy, like, but like not spicy, right? It's just like a, but like the, like that root flavor. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay. 
Oh, ceviche? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not understanding. I'm so sorry. Like what you were saying about how you taste cilantro. Oh, gotcha. It is kind of earthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like a grassy, earthy dish detergent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the vibe. Yeah, do you have them making a dish detergent that No, if it tasted it like wasabi, I'd be like, let's fucking go. I know, right? It's true. <laughs> How would they market that? It made it taste better. <laughs> yeah. Tasty, tasty. Oh, lychee, really? Oh, really? I actually like it. I think it tastes very like light and fruity. Did you ever have the, um, did I make you try lychee when I worked at the yogurt shop? Um, I think I've had it in the past, but I don't remember what it tastes like. Mm. I like it. I think it's all right. There were times where there was like one left and I was like, okay, I'm eating it. <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> It was funny though, because a lot of the times I would like get like the tiniest bit of yogurt and then I would just get a lot of toppings of stuff because like I'm technically still allergic to yogurt, um, but sometimes they had the vegan ones that were just like sorbets basically, but I mostly just wanted like all the yummy fruits and stuff. So, and we got to have a free one every time we worked, which was like the one good thing about working there. <laughs> Uh, not the biggest floral flavor. Oh, okay. No, I get you. I get you. Cause I'm, I'm a big fan. I don't know if you've ever had those violet mints. They're like, taste very floral. They don't even, they're not minty at all really. It's just like perfumey. And I think they're delicious, but it's kind of like, it's kind of a weird flavor. James, do you like those? Mm. The violet mints? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Well you like them. Okay. And he likes sweet things. So. I usually judge based on that. They're pretty good, but I really like floral things. Like my favorite um, ice cream flavor, there was a flavor at Three Twins that was rose and like vanilla, like a creme fraiche with like rose and honey. Mm. Oh, it was so amazing. And it had actual rose petals in it. Like it was delicious. You're in Hawaii. Ooh, that's amazing. Owner wanted me to make an entree with it, so I had to get servers to try it because I wouldn't like it. Oh, so you had to like be like, okay, I'm gonna work with this, but y'all have to tell me if it's good. That's funny. What did you end up making? All right. Since it's about seven, do you want to make your um your thing while the pasta is cooking? What are you thinking? I can put this over here. Um, I assume we'll be eating it separately from the. Uh, oh, we can do that if you want to make pasta. it first. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so let's let's prep that. Would you like me to prep your kale? I probably won't want to make too many. Well, actually, no, no. We can. I can make a few eggs, and then we can just have some for tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So. Do you want? To, did you get the small pan? Oh, do we have it? Oh no, we have this one. If you want to fill that. But I'll do that. Water. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, okay. we can start off with. Uh, All right, then I'll just put this here. Yeah, I'd rather. Have Closer to it, I think. Gotcha. Um, okay. coriander, mahi maki, or ahi maki, and leek mash. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds yummy. That sounds really yummy. Alright, stream elements, you can calm down a little bit. Okay, uh, then you just need you have the kale. And you have lemon, you grab the lemon. So, what else do you need? Garlic and... I would need Lemons. garlic and maybe like a... Do you no. have some soy? Yeah, 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 probably a few okay. sauces. Grab the soy sauce. Maybe an uh, oyster? Is that a thing? Yeah, we can put oyster on. <gasps> Thank you, Cobbler. Appreciate the 50 bits. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, she will return uh, with with gratitude and with um, making the audio gratitude. sound better in a second. Oh, awesome. Yes, 
thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. I got. I also grabbed the fish sauce. That'll be yummy. Fish soy oyster is a good trio. Mm -hmm. You can add the other ones too, but those are the ones that you really need. And oyster okay. to me can do it all. I'm gonna move this cutting board. Oyster is a superstar. Because this is the cheese cutting board. I love soy sauce. He's always there when you need him. He's dependable. But he's only in the A tier oh, for me. Oyster, my hand is dying. Love it. Love an oyster sauce. Also, like that we have three different brands. We have squid brand fish sauce, Lee Kung Kee for the uh, oyster, and then we have Kiko Man for the soy sauce. This is what we got, you know. <laughs> Here, baby, you can take a break now. I hurt my hand. Why'd you hurt your hand? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? Is it because you weren't wearing your brace? No, it's just because I carried that over and it was heavy and it hurt. And I only carried it with one hand. Why would you hand. do that? Because I, you didn't give me a chance to come grab it. I did not realize you were grabbing it, baby. Yes, I will. Come here. Yes. Ah! Lexi's spinning around. I get ugh, a cutting board for you. Are you going to cut them? The kales? Do you want me to cut them? I can cut the kales. I don't know how to do it, but I'll do it. Oh. I, sh I probably should know how to cut it. So. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm going to wash my hands again. Gotta keep me clean. Oh, this music is too sleepy. I know, it really is. Come on, synth boy. Oh, oh, oh. louder, but louder isn't here. Okay, okay. It's, it's a little bit better. It's a little it's a bit little better. sleepy. It's a little sleepy today. It's a little sleepy today. God, kind of sleepy. God, I chopped the shit up. All right, so first we gotta wash it. No. <laughs> Okay. Fish sauce is made from anchovies? Yeah, yummy, yummy. That's what anchovy tastes like? Well, kind of. I don't want to eat anchovy because that was, isn't it just like the whole fish? Don't they just literally put yeah. the entire fish on there? Do they have bones? I don't know what else this has in it. Sweet so girl, do anchovies have bones? Yeah, like little tiny ones, yeah. You just eat it? Oh my you god, really that's, that's wild to me. I believe it and I trust it, but it's that's scary to me. I think the we idea even have this... anchovies, so if I make a good sauce, I can make anchovies sauce. Lots of things are made from anchovies. I guess it totally, like, it, it tracks. Yummy it salty? Does, it makes sense to you me. Know? Huh? Yummy salty? Yeah, yummy salty, exactly. It's got that umami, it's got that salty. Mm -hmm. It makes sense that it would be used, but I guess I, I just, like, never sat there and thought. Fish sauce is from anchovies. I don't know what I thought it was, if not anchovies, though. <laughs> I can't think of any other ideas that would make sense. All right, so. <sighs> this is literally pretty easy. You're All right, cool. So, you see how it gets really thick? Yes. It's kind of not yummy to eat the thick parts. Okay. So, what I usually do is I do like, oh, <laughs> just rinse that off. I do like fight Like, see, immediately. <laughs> it just popped off, you know? Yeah. So I do like bite sized slices until it gets to like here. Because then that's getting a little big. We don't okay. really want to eat the stem. Okay. So you just rip it off. Okay. And then twist so that it rips off nice and easy. And then you just, this will go in the compost. Okay. All right, so do these two, and then I'm going to eat a bowl because this kale is very big. It's big, yeah. And it needs like a separate vessel to live in before you cook it. Let me grab That stuff scares me. Yeah, I'm not very good. Okay, okay, so. Okay, now I'm gonna start twisting. Okay, that's fine. But when you cut things, 
You want? You want it to, uh, yes, thank you, thank you. I, I was don't, trying to do that, but don't, I couldn't remember. Don't, because you don't have any control. I couldn't remember the exact motion, Just I appreciate that. remember keeping your pit, the top, like, on the board. Yes. You don't need to lift it. Yeah, you can just throw it over to the side. I can grab this okay. time. Oh, and this can go up just a little bit. Okay. Grab that little bit. Yeah. Okay. Sorry that we don't have a better cam set up so that y'all can see. Uh, we do have a chalk cam, but I, I, I don't do this, so I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It would probably be better. Better for everyone to see, like. Shit ass cutting. No, board. you're doing a great job. And then once you're done with all that, I'll cut the um the prosciutto. So like move forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there you go. See how easy it cut? Yeah. This can't cook down to like two little, two servings, right? I think, I think this is enough. It might not be that much though. Do we want to do one more? My lady cut is horrifying. It's horrifying. Yeah. Crazy gonna cut her finger off. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I think we can do another one. We can do one more. Yeah. Let's just do the tiny one. Sure. Oh, you know what I should do? I should go out and see if my mom has any fresh kale leaves, too, to add. Uh, sure. Unless they're not the kid curly ones. I'd actually, they might not be. The new ones coming up might be, but I don't think they're ready yet, so. Let's just not. Okay, yeah, you're gonna go, double, yeah. Put, put the thing down and don't take, take it up. No, no, don't pick it up. See what I mean? So like. Uh, yeah, and now, yeah, see? Where's my hand? <sighs> I'm weak. Oh, no. Well, like, the motion is like... Got it. So, like, you can just... Then I can... You use the tip as, like, keep it anchored as much as you Yay. can. And it helps you control it. Alright, that'll be good. Where are you putting this? Uh, in the compost bag. Oh, yes. Well, there. lovely. So now we have some more kale. I can make us some some kale tomorrow too for lunch. Marinated eggs wouldn't make sense for this though. No. I was just trying to think if I wanted to do the eggs now, so I don't have to do it later. But we can wait a little bit on eggs. Do, you, do we have eggs? Yes. Do we only have quail eggs? No. Oh, okay. I thought that's why you were giggling. No, the thing is that we're basically making a carbonara without the eggs, so I could just make a carbonara if you want me to make a carbonara. I kind of think that's like, would taste. He just, he just really wants carbonara. I love egg, man. I love it. The thing is, it won't be like bucatini, so it won't have the middle. Yeah. Um, is that going to seriously affect the spaghetti? Is it gonna be bad? No. No, it's gonna be awesome. God, no, it's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be awesome and tasty, and I'm prepared to do different egg thing anyway. Let's just operate under the assumption that we will do uh, carbonara, and then if you are like, I don't want to do that, then I'll just make top of like. <sighs> you only have girls. No, we do have real like. <laughs> But we, uh, I, I was asking Lexi if the reason. No, we that, bought uh, quail eggs because we wanted to have quail eggs. We, we where, them. when did we get those? We oh, got them at the, um, at the. We went to an awesome fish market. Yeah, it was really cool. It's not just fish; it was like a grocery store. Mm -hmm. But they had a ton of stuff. We got some great things there. All right, so I'm gonna cut. 
the um, prosciutto while you saute the kale, okay? Mm hmm. I saute the kale. The prosciutto while you saute the kale. Okay, sounds good. Uh, which one? Uh, there's not a whole lot, but there's gonna be enough. What did we use them for? We... What did we use quail eggs for? Um, we put them on our little rice bowls with stuff that was delicious, remember? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Um, I trust thing? you though, I trust you if that's what you remember. They were lovely. They were so tiny and delicate and cute. We got this prosciutto thing and another hunk, the exact same size as this one, for six US dollars. Total. Thank you, grocery outlet. So we Truly been, a bargain market. Cause like, look like, at that. That's fucking nice. Look how much that is. That's like a pack or two right there. It's really thick, yeah. So we've just been using it in different things. Jane really likes it cooked, so I've been cooking it. I've been thinly slicing it and eating it, <laughs> like as a little snack. Yeah, I'm glad that you're. I'm glad that you enjoy it uh, raw and you don't have to cook it. But yeah, I prefer. You just like it thinly sliced when you. <laughs> Romalia says slice. thick. Yeah, that's that's one hell of a prosciutto slice. She thick. She thick for sure. All right, hun. What? Oh, to cook. cook. Yes. I'm a cook, man. You're a cook, man. I'm the cookman. Wish I was in Cali. Or, oh, I was in Cali and saw and, and they got good stuff for cheap. Yeah, it's fantastic. We are indeed Cali located. Yeah, we are, we are in Cali, so. Is it is he on how uh, when how far how many? Mm -hmm. Six. I put it on six. Is that enough? Yeah. All right. Rock on. What's the goal here? When do I put in the the leaves? Okay, I do need your guidance. <laughs> when it's hot? When it's hot? Yeah. How do I know? Feel it out. Feel it out, okay. Yeah, do that. Literally. What? When it's really hot. It's Are you kidding me? Cool. That's real? I was doing a joke where I was gonna put my hand in. That's a way to do it, for sure. I was in Santa Barbara. Oh, sweet. SoCal. We live in NorCal. Have we, uh, have you been to Santa Barbara? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course we went to Santa Barbara. We went to uh, I've also been CLC. You. Yes, you've gone, yeah, you've gone to Yeah, no, we went to the boardwalk, too. Yes, the boardwalk was nice. We got a burger. I think we got a burger. We got some sort of it was very fucking pretty. beach food. It was tasty. I think it was a burger. So these pieces are kind of big. Should I cut them in half? What do you think? Yeah, you could. Just like slice them all like that. You know? Like this. Sure. Ooh, oh, the fat. Come yeah, on. the fat stuff that cut through. Ah, it feels hot now. Okay, yeah, put them on. Okay. Turn it down a little. Oh. Sorry. Uh, when do I put sauces in? Not immediately, is it? Yeah, in a while. I don't cook that a little bit. Yeah, put a lot in. Ah! I don't want to get burned. You don't want to get put a lot in. Ow, I got burned. Okay. I don't know what to say. 
try to mix it up so that they, the other sides will start cooking. You know, you don't have to be fast with it though. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, you're fine. You're at not even a high temperature, so you just, just chop it. Freaking out. You're doing great. Uh. Just like a beautiful little piece of cured meat. Oh, your aunt lives in San Francisco. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a good point. For sure. And it depends on where you go, too. Yeah. San Francisco is kind of, it's not like it's big, not so but it's very so. like diverse. It's pretty big. You can get, yeah, you can get a lot of different stuff and some, some of it is a little a That's what I mean though, it's not like the biggest place, it's just really diverse. Yeah. Alright, you can start putting in sauces. Okay. See how it's gone down so much? Yeah. I'm glad we added that other bit. This is the only way I've found to reliably open this fucking fish sauce container. Do the knife. Look how little of this fish sauce we've used. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, that's good? Yeah, you don't want to use a lot of fish sauce, that's why. I didn't realize he was the strong boy. Oh, yeah. Oyster, my MVP. Oh, it's gonna first, be first overall draft pick for me, Oyster. Love it. I can do, I can do. Sorry. Do you want me to slice your lemon? Yes, please. Thank you. That part would be very appreciated. Oh, this is kind of a big lemon. Oh my god, the kill has already shrunk down so much more. It always shocks me with kale and spinach how fucking little you actually get. Lemon goes on last on the way. Yeah, it's shrunk down a lot. If you weren't guiding me, I could do this. Yeah, you totally could. You gonna cook me dinner on my birthday? That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I can do that. Figure something out. All right, this is probably good. You don't want it to be too cooked. All right. And then chop the heat and do. It doesn't look like there's seeds in here, but just in case. Oh wow, that's a lot of sauce. It's not that much, but hopefully it's not too much. Well, they're referring to lemon as sauce there. <laughs> yeah, it's lemon. Alright, did you try bon it? Bon appetit. No, I didn't try it. I don't want to try it. 
No, you just want to have it in the moment. Yeah. That's like one of the main things that separates me from Chef Instincts is that I don't like trying shit before it's done. I don't like when Lexi's like, well, I, not that I don't like it. I'll do it sometimes, but a lot of the time, if you ask, like, do you want to try this before the meal, I typically don't want to. Ooh, got yummy. Yay! Okay. I made a wonderful little dish, I think. So, shall we have it now? Sure. We can enjoy that and then maybe set stuff up and then take our break in, like, 10, 20. Sure, I can, um, start the water for that. Oh, so so we cook the noodles need, upstairs. Yeah, because all I need to yeah. do is I will cook this and a little bit of butter and oil. I'll do oil first, and then once they start getting a little, a little bit crispy, I'll yeah. add some butter to get more flavor in them because I think it'll be delicious. Sorry to break the mystique and say that we we, we go upstairs because there's a bed up there and we need to sit for a second, folks. Yeah. <laughs> and also there's a bathroom up there. We just Accurate. use the bathroom and sit and chill for a second. Yeah, kale shrinks so much. This piece can kind of stay kind of big, though. Oh my god, that's wild flavor. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'll try it. Well, we're gonna eat it now, so... Mm, mm, mm. Well, I like that. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I did a good job. Alright, let's eat our kale. Woo! Oh, we don't really have. Mm. Well, well, this is fine. Okay, we've got these two little, little bowls. These work. Not like there's a lot of kale to start with. I was it okay if I serve it? Of course. Okay. Yeah, I have, I have no problems with that, my love. I just wanted to be able to claim that I did the the at least enough of it to know that I could do it, you know? Oh, yeah. I wasn't like, you I don't want this. you to help. No, you made this. No, but you helped. A little bit, but you made oh, this. Oh, you helped. It was enough. A little bit. Maybe next time I could do it entirely in self sustaining Yeah. Around. It's been a while since you've done it, so. I'm glad yeah. we had this little practice round. Uh, I really loves this song, don't he? Mm -hmm. Plays it a few times. Don't he? All right, pick one. Grab a fork. Pick one? Oh, well, one of these. Thank you. Mm. We've already had it though, but. That's true. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grow it by everyone. Mmm. Which one is it? Mm. Honestly, kind of surprised I made that. You did great. I guess if you put, put a bunch of sauce and shit on something, it's going to taste good. Mmm. We haven't had curly kale in a while. Mm. Oh, delightful. Mm -hmm. The lemon adds such a good touch to it. Sorry, lemon. That was really good. That was very good. Where did we get this kale recipe? Was it from the book that um, Casey got us? Yeah, but this one's not that. Yeah, yeah, this is different. We need to make more fucking dishes from that because that, that was an awesome recipe book. Mm hmm. That's a good point. It smells like lemon. I was I was so confused because I went down to smell the prosciutto thinking it was gonna be meaty, but it was lemon scent. We have extra lemon. Awesome. Uh him? Uh, but wait before you cook it? No. No? No. But why not? No. 
You cook the meat in a little bit of lemon juice. No, no. But why not? No, 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 yeah, no, no. I just, I guess I just don't understand why it doesn't work. I just don't want that flavor does not sound yummy. Okay, I trust you. Because it's already <sighs> very like fatty. I don't know. I mean, like it's good to do acid against fat, but like. Not for the pasta, it would be weird. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm not usually a fan of a savory lemon dish, but on kale and on like specific Spanish. Things, yeah, I'm okay with it. Oh, Mr. Sellis, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Appreciate it. Ooh, Ooh ad coming with three minutes. That would be a perfect time to, uh, to take our break, I think. Oh God, that's true. So what do we want to prep? Uh, I think you want to prep the pasta. I mean, it's already here. This okay. Is it. And then you're gonna Excellent. Cook, and then you're not making eggs now. I'm not making eggs now. So this could just go away. Yeah. We're basically just gonna come home, probably come home. We're gonna come downstairs, we're gonna- This, I will cook the meat in. Cook the meat in there. And that's it. Yeah. We've got the Parmesan. I'll grab the eggs. And then we're ready. All right. Perfect. Oh, it's Mrs. Ellis, not Mr. Sellis. Oh, I'm dumb. No, I, I had the same thought. We both had the... We, we both... <laughs> I feel so stupid. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, good, Mrs. Well, hello, Ellis. So you. sorry about that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I um, do that quite often. <laughs> okay. Everyone gets it wrong. Oh no! But I get you. Everyone gets my name wrong too. So like, the amount of people who can say not. alchemical on this platform is low. Very low. Well, because it's. I think it's the fact that there's also kitty after it. So they do a like, al al alchemical ki kitty, and I'm like, yeah, yep, yeah, close enough. <laughs> Basically. And I don't care. It's fine <laughs> as long as as long as we all understand. It's all chilling. Yeah. <laughs> but welcome on in. Thank you so much for being here. Unfortunately, we are going to go on a quick break, but it's really fast. It's just so we have a chance to sit down because we do this stream for like quite a while. But we'll be back we're doing and we'll great. We're cooking straight to. We're to having eating. drinks. We're hanging out. We're cooking food. We're making some carbonara. We're hanging out. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice. We we just. It's like seventy degrees pale. out. It's beautiful. Yeah, oh, like, gee. We're happy. It was so hot last week. You drink it too. Stream. What are you drinking? Cheers. Cheer. Yeah. Cheers. Hundred percent. Jinx, let's go. Brandy, oh dang, you're drinking the nice. hot stuff. Well, you have, you have a, I have a seltzer. spiked seltzer. I have a beer. It's not, so it's not. It's not as, yeah. Aw, cheers everybody. That's so cute. I love y'all. Very nice, we will be right okay. back. We're just gonna take a quick bathroom break um, and the ad's gonna start. That's such a great time for that to have it. <laughs> 